Native title was originally designed to protect the interest of uh, traditional owners and anyone, any one of those owners that had uh, rights to country. And from what it was designed to do and what it is doing is completely the opposite. It's dividing our people as a people uh, from nation to nation, dividing us within. You know, we have brothers and sisters and that, that um, this, is, the, this native title process is um, um, dividing in huge ways. And well, I see that as a massive problem amongst our people and, you know, um, for something that was designed to protect our, our interests, it, is, it doesn't seem to be doing that at all. And the land councils, lawyers, the anthropologists, everyone, everyone else seems to be running the show and not really listening to the traditional owners and what we want from our land and, you know, um, the rights that we want um, to our land. No one seems to, to care what we want as, as the TOs. Um, they're just, you know, it's, it's all turned, turned into a big corporate entity where everyone else and, you know, is making money from, from, from our demise to native title, I think, and, you know, um, where native title rights have been taken from our people in a big way. And like on Noongar country at the moment, we are uh, doing an Indigenous land use agreement, which uh, we have fought against and fought against hard. And, um, we went to, took it to the um, um, full bench of the Federal Court, West Australia, where we had a unanimous decision where we had won, but um, because government is so enthusiastic on taking our, away our rights to land, they took it to Federal Parliament and changed the uh, Native Title Act um, to overrule our decision. And, you know, when we have stuff like that going on, um, where um, the where the government's not not only under undermining us as traditional owners, but they also are undermining their their law system, their law structure, where our people had went through the structure, um, the system of law, and fought for our rights to land, and we had, had a great winnie on Noongar country in the federal court before um, three 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 of the federal court judges, and you know um, it's. It's, that's, that, that says a lot about where native title is ed edited and, you know, it's um, not protecting the interest of our people and our rights, but more so for the big end of town, the mining companies and, you know, the government. The Noongar Indigenous Land Use Agreement is to relinquish and surrender all rights to country. It's to extinguish our rights to native title and that's something that we fought hard against and, you know, we don't want to extinguish our right as t traditional owners to be a part of any negotiations on country. We don't want that. We, 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 we had refused, t two senior elders had refused to sign off on the Indigenous Land Use Agreement um, deal because they did not see it right as for future generations to come. And, you know, um, past and future acts um, is a clause in our native title um, Igloo agreement where we are never to contest past and future acts. And you know, that, 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 that is, um, the magnitude of that is massive, where they could make laws and acts upon us in, in the future where we could never contest because we've signed off on this Indigenous Land Use Agreement and that, that is sad and it's wrong. And, um, when we talk about future, um, how can we go into any deals and any agreements and speak for the unborn, the future generations? I don't think that is right, and I think it's uh, I think it goes against the grain of our hapical ancestry and what our old people and our ancestors had done before us. They never relinquished and surrendered nothing, no rights to land, and you know they never. They never made any agreement, so um, why are we doing these sort of things today um, for, you know, um, for a sustainable economic, uh, for our people, we have to go into such agreements where we have to relinquish and surrender rights to land. I think that is, um, that is, that is um, 
an indictment on the government. And, you know, it's, it's not justify, justifiable that they are doing this to our people. We've been here for 80,000 years, the oldest people and culture in the world. And they're asking um, people to go into these Indigenous land use agreements and surrender, the, send us, surrender all our rights to land and, you know, to extinguish our rights to land um, for, um, um, you know, s small pittance of money and none of our families are going to gain from any of this because um, no family will, individual family will have title deeds to any of these lands. Um, the, the title deeds always remains within the trust and within, you know, the bodies, the, 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 body, the bodies of native title. And with the Noongar Indigenous Land Use Agreement, our, um, our, trust, our trust body and our trust, our trust is held in Queensland not even in the state of Western Australia, let alone with our people to um, have, you know, to have our own self-determination and empowerment of what we want to do with the money. So either way, we have no say over anything. And, you know, the money's, we will always have to be asking people, could we do this and could we do that with any of the monies that's held in trust? And, you know, it's always going back to the white man asking the white man, is still dangling that carrot above us and it's just not right. The Crown is wanting to take our rights to land and, you know, um, they're selling off Australia as we all know it. They're selling off to overseas countries all, all, all over the co uh, country and where's, our, where, where's, where's what's rightfully ours as the, as the traditional owners? We have nothing to show in our communities even with the people that's gone into these agreements and that there's some of the poorest communities, some of the poorest communities that have done agreements with native title that are still dirt poor and living in third world conditions today. And, you know, none of the monies and none of, the, none of that comes back to the ground and to the grassroots level people. It's all held in these, it's all held in these, um, uh, within these corporations that they've set up and, our people, our people want our rights to country, but we should not have to negotiate or go into any deal. As I'd stated before, we are the oldest people and culture in the world. Who are we doing a deal with? Who are they for us to negotiate with? And where's their stature and connection to country? They have none. Um, um, you know, they, they have no culture, nothing in the ground like we do. and. You know, we, we cannot let it go, no matter what. And they've been around, they've, the Australian government has been here for 230 years and they're asking us to surrender and relinquish our rights to 80,000 years of ancestry and connection and culture and everything else that goes with the budja, the land. Um, they're asking us to disconnect ourselves. I just don't understand why our people are, are entertaining such thing as native title Native title is a tool of dispossession and it is, is displacing our people and, and dividing our people and we need to walk away from native title as a whole. Well.